Wait. Where were you? I'm sorry, I'll be right down. What happened? Got stuck with your boyfriend? Stop that. I'll spill his right and left. The old man was real mad. Yeah, yeah, I know. Hey, Mary. I'll be right with you. I'll cut it out. Have you decided what you want? I tell you, you'll slap me like you did yesterday. So what's the use of asking? Hey, Mary. I'm coming. Ah, here comes the old dollar. soup do you have? Clam chowder fresh. Okay, soup and a double rum. That's my appetizer. I'll clear off this place. Hey, Mary. Yeah, I'll be right there. You know, always when I see you, dearie, I wonder. I just simply wonder. What's a gimme? What do you work so hard for? You got a beautiful face and a wonderful figure. Listen, I know a guy that's just crazy for you. Yeah, I know, with a lot of dough. Well, how did you know? Oh, don't waste your time. Well, but he... Yeah, I know. He's different. They're all alike. They just have different faces so you can tell them apart. Hello, Well, time! <laughs> That's no excuse to fall asleep. So I was tired and fell asleep and was late for work once. So what are you beefing about? Don't get fresh. If it wasn't for the memory of your poor father, I'll show you how tough it is to get a good job nowadays. So oh, you buzzard. If it wasn't for the memory of my poor father, he thinks I don't know how he cheated my father. Oh, don't get upset. You can't change him. After all, he's took care of me all these years. He took care of me. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. To get rid of me, he put me in an orphanage, then in a convent, and when I was strong enough to slave for him, he brought me back. Well, he got upset. The place full of people and you not here. Stop your stupid talk. Close up the place. Put the lights out.
so much money. Crooks. Yeah, who is it? Police, open up. <clears throat> I'm coming. Sorry to break in on you like this, young lady. We'd like to ask you some questions. I'll make it easy for you, gentlemen. I took the money and I'm ready to take the rap for it. So let's go. <laughs> You're not serious. I wouldn't joke with the police. You can see I'm all packed. You one great fool, you. Where is the money? Where is it? You shut up. Now, now, wait a minute. Where is the money? That I won't tell you. Why don't you ask him where he got it? Well, that's none of your business. Officer, she's got the money. Switch the room. I don't waste your time. You don't think I'd be foolish enough to keep it here, do you? 
Officer, do your duty and arrest me. And take him along, too. Let's go. Mary Adams, I have here your signed confession. You robbed your employer, Gregory Stark, of $25,000. Mr. District Attorney, I confessed the robbery, but of course I can't say how much it was. I didn't have time to count it. According to the police report, you refuse to reveal where the money is hidden. That is correct. I confess, and I'm, I'm ready to accept my punishment. It'll make a great deal of difference in the attitude of the court if you tell us where the money is. I'm sorry. This man, Gregory, cheated my father out of his whole fortune. Maybe my father wasn't a saint either. He was mixed up in some kind of a racket with Gregory. But after all, he was my father and I loved him. Gregory ruined him. And I made up my mind that I'd get even. Now I've got a chance. I'm sorry, young lady, but you can't take the law into your own hands. No matter what your reasons and motives are, you cannot justify stealing. Look, mister. Uh, Mr. District Attorney, I work like a fool. Scrubbing floors, washing dishes, serving, and all for a little food in a stuffy room. Oh, I'm not complaining, but every day I must hear if it wasn't for the memory of my poor father. I'm sick of it. I want to get out of this misery. Well, you certainly won't get out of it this way. How much do you think you'll get for it? Mary Adams, one to ten years in the California Institute for Women. Say, what are you brooding about? Don't be a fool. You only have four months left to go. How long are you in for? Five years, so what? Once here. What is it? Oh, come sit down. Sit there and I'll finish it for you. Come in. Mary Adams, come in. Sit down. Mary Weave, Father Benedict, the guards and myself have been watching you for quite a while. Have I done something wrong? No, not at all. We just wonder what keeps you so cheerful all the time. What's wrong with that? That's quite all right, my child. We're not criticizing you. On the contrary, we appreciate your attitude. Yeah? What I want to know, you seem to like it here. That would be slightly exaggerating, but I take things as they come. What else could I do? You see, I have hopes, and I'm making plans for the future. Well, just last night, I did a little figuring. And instead of counting the days I have behind me, I figured out that I have 1,508 days left to go. That includes a leap year in 1956. We want to do something for you, Mary. Do you have any particular wish, any special work you'd like to do? Maybe working in the library or in the kitchen? You mean I can choose? Are you on the level? I wonder if I could work in the garden by any chance. As the gardener's helper? I think that can be arranged. Sure is. 
Look how the young oak trees are growing. Isn't it a joy? It's been about seven months now, hasn't it? They'll be big and strong. How long does it take? Oh, two or three years. I'll still be here. I'll see them. How much longer do you have to serve? 1,072 days. It's going nicely. Say, somebody was telling me you've got a lot of money hidden somewhere. You're pretty smart. Maybe I'm not so smart. All that money just lying there, no interest, no dividends. How much? 25 grand. Say, you're a rich girl. What are you going to do with all the dough? Oh, I don't know. I change my plans every day. Yeah. It's a car that will be booming when I get out. I want... I don't know. I want so many things. It'll take a lot of thinking before I get the right idea. But you can bet it'll be the right idea. Well, let's get going. Here, hold this a minute. That fell out of the wall. Such a funny thing, nature. See, when the young trees are growing, the roots have such strength, such power. They push away any obstacle. They even push their way out of the prison wall. Isn't that something? <laughs> Mary, I've been looking for you. The warden wants to see you. What about? I don't know. Mary, we have news for you. We are not sure you're going to like it. Father Benedict and I recommended to the parole board to grant you a probation period for the remainder of your sentence because of your good behavior. We just got the answer. If you keep out of trouble, you're a free person. I'm sorry, it was a little sudden. When do I go? Anytime. It's up to you. Happy? You bet. Well, Mary, what are you going to do? Oh, I'm not spying on you. I know you aren't, Father, but... But? I'm afraid. That's why I turn around all the time. I want to make sure I'm not being followed. Followed? By whom? Gregor's gang or the police. Or maybe your own conscience? There's nothing wrong with my conscience. It's none of my business, child, but that money you took is cursed money. Such money never brings luck. Where shall I drop you? Oh, near Hacienda Drive. There's an apartment house there, I remember. I always wanted to live in it. It's inexpensive. I hope it's still there. So you intend to return to place of your... Crime? Sure. I have some unfinished business here. And then I want to go away and start a new life. They want to get my dough. I can wait. Thank <laughs> you. 
Wow. Hey, that was nice. Do it again. <laughs> Looking for somebody? Mm, yeah. Uh, wasn't there a little joint around here? I mean, a restaurant a couple years ago? Oh, you mean... Sure, that's gone. Condemned. It was full of water rats. And human rats, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had a girlfriend working there. Can you tell me what happened to the old man that ran the place? Oh, Gregory. Well, the cops gave him a headache, so he took a powder. They say he's operating somewhere in South America now. Thanks. Quite a dish, huh? Want to see the boss? Yeah. You gotta wait a while after he finishes the hand. Who is it? Okay, go ahead. Boss? A beauty to see you. Come for the job? Yeah, sure. Is it still available? It depends. Got any experience? I've worked as a waitress before. Yeah? Look how you bent the cards. Why do you do it? Where did you work? Various places out of town. Drug stores, drive-ins. <laughs> Got any recommendations? Just my calluses. <laughs> That's not enough. A good waitress must have in the first place. Yeah. That's exactly what I mean. <laughs> Come, sit down. Sit down. Ah, don't play tough. Sit down. What are you going to drink? Nothing, thank you. Nah, don't give me that. What shall I order? Root beer. <laughs> oh, she says it with a straight face. <laughs> Look, that's mine. You deal. Take it. Ah, take it. It's for good luck. Buy yourself a nice dress to impress my customers. You mean I've got the job? Mm, if we agree on terms, why not? Wait, I'll be right back. Let's go to my office. If everything is all right, then we can start right away. Come, let's go. <laughs> Wait! If you want the lucky money, I left it on your desk. <laughs> what are you staring? Can't I have a little privacy? Say, you know you're the first girl who ever dared to slap me? Someone should have done it a long time ago. You probably met the other type of girl, so maybe it isn't your fault anyway. Wait! What now, spoiled baby? Your darling, <laughs> I like you. You're a brave girl. You'll make a good waitress and a good bouncer too, huh? <laughs> Sit down. You've got the job. And if anybody ever dares to touch you, including me, I'll break his neck. You order. Root beer for everybody. Oh. <laughs> Oh, hey, Bill, mix me Manhattan, will you? I talked to Frank, says he might let me sing in his club when the girl has a day off. That's good. Uh -huh. Oh, darling, please give me another one. And a cigar, please. Who's she? A new lady in waiting. Ah, uh, who hired her? Nobody. She bought the place. I'm just working here for her. Cut it out. Where'd you find her? Where did I find her? Thank you. Thank you, darling. 
Say, what's that? A little fresh air, if you don't mind. I open the window before you all suffocate. Isn't she a darling? <laughs> I'm afraid so. Ah, don't be jealous. I didn't give it a second thought. Still working on the first, huh? Say, stick to the game. I'm losing money, you're having fun. Who is having fun, you fool? I'm winning again. <laughs> you deal. <laughs> How much can I bet? Unlimited. I'll give you a chance. Here, Manhattan, honey. Thanks. Honey. I'm Mary. Hello. Yeah? A customer. The kitchen's closed, only sandwiches. Good evening, sir. What can I do for you? Bring me... Wow. <laughs> I didn't know you worked here. I never saw you before. I just started. Well, I wish I'd have known that a shame. What for? Pretty sharp, then. What's so interesting over there? Nothing, just making sure that there's no mischief going out of my place. Since when are you so moral? Well, well it's to start someday. The kitchen's closed, but you can have a sandwich. Well, that's what did you say? Am I glad to see you again? You know I couldn't forget you? Love on first sight? Well, it saves a lot of time. Bologna or ham? Ham and rye and a beer. Don't let me wait too long. Hungry? You bet. Send it for me. <laughs> I've never seen such luck. For months he's been winning every hand. Well, you should get used to it by now. I'll do it myself. Say, Johnny, cut it out. She's my niece. He's just joking. Hey, isn't he a cop? You are crazy. It's Johnny. He's in the fish business. He sells fish to all these places around. Comes here once in a while. Now he'll be here day and night. Isn't that good? I mean, for the business. Yeah, sure. Sure, for the business. <laughs> Thanks. Why's the boss watching? Oh, he sort of plays my protective. He seems to be a nice guy. Yeah, he's all right. A bit stingy, maybe. Except when it comes to gambling. He'll gamble for anything, any time, any amount. Seems to be lucky. He wins all the time. I'd rather invest my money. See, what kind of a game are they playing? It's an old Balkanese game. Only these foreign characters know it. And how about the kibitzes? They just stare at the money. It fascinates them. Say it. I don't know how to say it. Say it with flowers. You work late tonight? Quite late. Anybody waiting for you? Yep. Mary, make me a few sandwiches, please. Trying to keep her busy, eh? Can't I be hungry? What's so unusual about that? Want to make a monkey out of me? <laughs> Why should I take all the credit? Nah, smooch. You know you're my only one. <laughs> <laughs> You must have tried already, and she told you off. Oh, what a clever girl. You know, I adore you. <laughs> you know what you are? No foul language in my place. <laughs> good night, Mary. Oh, good night. Good night, Bill. Oh, you left some dishes there. darling have nice dreams and include me occasionally
Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know it was you. Why didn't you say something? Say something? You didn't give me a chance. Oh, am I glad it's you. Well, I knew I was a lady killer, but I didn't expect to make such a hit with you. Say, how come... I mean, what are you doing here? Waiting for you. Took a chance. Let's go up and sit and watch the ocean for a while, huh? Oh, gee, you gave me a scare. I can't understand you. What's the matter? You afraid of the streets at night? Maybe I'd better pick you up every night. I won't charge you for it. It's nothing. I'm just a little bit edgy. I'll get over it. my language. You know, sometimes when I'm out in the open sea, I don't hear anything else for days. That must be wonderful, away from the world. It's a bit lonesome sometimes. Hey, why don't you come out with me your next day off? You'd love it. Do you go out there for fun, or...? I should say not. It's my business. I sell fish to all these gents around here. Does it pay? <laughs> it's a clean business, lots of water. I just got a cranky old boat now, but... I put in for a loan, and when I get it, I'm going to start really big. What loan? What do you mean? Bank loan I applied for. Going to get new equipment, high-powered motorboat. You know, I can make seven or eight hundred dollars a month, just like that. How much did you... I mean, how much of a loan do you need? You considering financing me? Oh, sure. Just a minute. Here's my contribution. What kind of a joke is this? It's no joke, it's your quarter. You left it on the table. Well, no, wait a minute. I was a customer, you waited on me. It's, it's the usual thing to leave a tip. I know I'm not angry, it's just that, well, suddenly I felt that I couldn't take it. Not from you, please take it back. I can only mean that you consider me more than a customer. No, don't. Why? Somebody else? No, not somebody. Something. I... I can't tell you. I don't want to get involved. Not now. Maybe someday I'll tell you. You know, you lied to me, don't you? You said there was somebody waiting for you. Well, weren't you? I said no. He's nice. His eyes are so wide. His fingernails are clean. The more red salt water I get. Maybe it isn't a bad idea. Seven to eight hundred dollars a month. Oh, if I could only get that money. Oh, no. I must wait. I'll wait. I don't know what to do. It's getting late. Ah, sure, it's getting late. I'm losing my shirt, so you're getting tired, huh? It's only money. Sure, it's only money. As long as it's my money, you don't mind. Double or nothing. What's the difference to you? You have no risk. Come on. It's no use. Whatever you do, it's no use. It's going bad, huh? He's losing like mad. How can he stand it? Well, he's not used to losing. Always lucky. He thinks it can't be otherwise. Look at that. Look at that. The devil must have shuffled the cards. Complete hand. 30, 60, 80. You said double or nothing. Where is the money? I hope I'm... I'm good for a few grand. Come on, another game. Double or nothing, come. Now, look here, Dimitrov. When you have your lucky hand, you always ask for the money. Yes, but this is my joint. I mean, I can't run away with that. <laughs> it's not enough security or what? It's like cash. So, come on. 
Double or nothing. Deal. I have to get up early tomorrow. Oh, be a sport. Come on. You deal. Double or nothing. Well, all right. Mary, why don't you go home? Oh, you deal. And tell Bill not to forget the... I won't cut this time. Maybe it'll be... Uh, tell Bill to... What do I want to say? Oh, I don't know. It was frightful. He looked like a madman. His eyes were bloodshot and his face was red. Oh, I felt sorry for the poor guy. Well, gambling is a gamble. <laughs> he should know what he's doing. But everybody says how lucky he is in cards. <laughs> the only sure thing about luck is it can change. Hey, that's not bad what I just said. <laughs> oh, you're a great brain. <laughs> oh, I want to ask you something. That business of yours, I mean the fish business, is it very risky? Can you lose your investment? <laughs> well, I don't know how, unless I bring home foul fish every day or people stop eating fish. Oh, I guess so. If the bank's willing to give you a loan, it must be. Wait a minute. What is this? Are you trying to kid me? Or... I don't get you. Oh, it was just a thought. You see, I have a girlfriend in my hometown, a widow with a lot of money. And, well, she asked me to look around to see if I could find a good, solid deal. So I thought I'd write to her and well, tell her about thanks, you. thanks, Mary, but <laughs> I'm afraid it'd take too much time before... Well, what I mean is, you see, I think the bank loan will come through in two or three weeks. Two or three weeks? Maybe she could have it even sooner, who knows? You know, you got eyes like a cat that shine in the darkness. Mary, I'm crazy about you. Wait. Would you go 50-50 if she gives you the money? 50-50 on a loan for $5,000? Are you crazy? All I have to do is pay the bank interest around 6%. 50-50 my foot. Just for you, I might go 50-50. Maybe even 60-40. 60 for whom? For you, of course. Maybe even 70, 30. 80, 20. 90, 10. Oh, it's a deal. I'm sorry, Mr. Domitoff, but I left my keys in my apron pocket. And I didn't want to wake up the landlady this late. Hmm? I'm so sorry, Mr. Domitoff. Is it that bad? Bad? It's finished. It can't be that bad. No. I don't even have the few bucks to pay you. It's gone. Everything is gone. Tomorrow I must clear out. You mean you lost your business? Everything. I lost my business, my liquor license, my policy, my cash. And that's not all. What else is there? I signed a bad check. I don't know. I, I lost even my head. That means jail. I did something like this before. That means jail as, as sure as I sit here. I don't understand it. Well, you were always so lucky. How could you lose so much at once? I don't know. It started so innocently, 20 bucks a game. I was losing for a while, so what? A gambler must be used to these things. That crook. He looks like the devil. 
I lost all my cash. Tomorrow is payday, so I wanted to win it back. I started chasing my own money. That's the trouble. Double or nothing. Double or nothing. It's like a nightmare. Double or nothing. Double or nothing. 100, 200, 400, 8, 16, 32. It mounts, it mounts. So... Now you expect that the luck must turn your way. The luck can't stay with a guy for five and six hours. But no, it stays with him for seven and eight hours. You shuffle the cards, you cut. You don't shuffle, you don't cut, it's all the same. He gets the good cards and you pick up all the trash. Every card you pick up is trash, trash, trash. So you lose your head, you bet and bet and feed that monster sitting there like, like a stone wall. Uh, what's the use? Against bad luck, you are helpless. That crook. He's cruel. He'll put me in jail. I'm sure he will. How much is it? I mean, the bad check. Five grand. And if you get the money by tomorrow morning, will it save you from jail? <laughs> sure, but where shall I get it? I'll give you the money. What kind of a joke is that? I wouldn't joke with you at a time like this. You were nice to me and I trust you. You help me and I'll help you. And don't ask any questions. Where's there a pencil and a piece of paper? Now look. You know where Jackson Avenue is? Sure. I mean, Jackson and Oak Drive. Uh -huh. There's a little drugstore on the corner. From there, you drive three blocks to Rosario Road. Wait, I'll write it down. There's some sort of a dead end, a railroad block with a stop sign. Jan, take the shovel with you. There's one in the garage. What is it? What are you smiling at? Sure, it's you. The girl who wrapped old Gregory. I knew I saw your picture somewhere. You were in the papers. Ah, oh, what a girl. Now, Mary, don't be silly. You can trust me. I wouldn't give you away. Look, I need you and you need me. You say it yourself. You will save me from jail and you need somebody to get you the toll. Don't you trust me? Mary, don't you? Well, as I was saying, there's a railroad block with a stop sign. You step over it and walk uphill to the forest. Now watch, here's the first tree, just a little to the left. You pass the first, second, third, fourth, and at the fifth tree, you walk inside to the right, up into the forest. And then you start counting again. One, two, three, four, five. A tree's marked. I carved a capital M in it. There you start digging. Just a little to the right as you stand. Not too deep, about oh, seven or eight inches. And there you'll find the tin box. Don't open it. Bring it to me and I'll give you your share. Oh, stop that monkey business and go.
deal. Where's the money? <laughs> you tell me, you sly little fox. Changed your mind. Got cold feet suddenly, huh? Made a fool out of me. You mean you didn't find it? Oh, stop acting. I knew it. I knew it right away that you quickly made up a story with your five trees to the left, five trees to the right. And I idiot believed you. Get out. Get out, I said. Leave me alone. Are you sure you found the right place? <laughs> You didn't make a mistake? Yeah, 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 I made a mistake. I dug in about a dozen of places to make sure. Don't give me that nonsense. Get out! find it? Maybe you made a mistake. Stop acting and get out. Get out, I said. Cursed money will never bring you luck. I'm sorry, lady, but you simply can't take the law into your own hands. I've dug in about a dozen places to make sure. Don't give me that nonsense. Get out. Get out, I said. You didn't find it? You didn't find it. Are you looking for somebody? Uh, yeah. The trouble is, I I only know her first name. It's Mary. She's a waitress. Oh, yes, I know. But, uh, but she's sick in bed. What's wrong with her? Well, I, I don't know. She doesn't say anything. And she doesn't eat for three days now. Why well, haven't you called a doctor? She doesn't want anyone. All she wants is to be left alone. Which room is hers? Well, she doesn't want to see anybody. She told me so. and. Besides, she sleeps a lot, and I don't want to wake her. Look, I'm a friend of hers. I just got back from a fishing trip. I went to that place where she works to see her, but it's closed. Well, maybe she doesn't know that. There's a sign on the door. New management, reopening soon. Look, tell her that Johnny called to see her. You got that? Yes. I got to go now. I'm due back in my boat. <laughs> What can I do for you, beautiful? Well, uh, I was just wondering, are you the new owner? No, no, just the new manager. Oh. Well, you see, I worked here for a few days, and can you tell me what happened to the former owner, Mr. Domitro? I don't get you, honey. It's still his place. He's just a little tired of it, that's all. He wanted to take things easy for a change. Have some fun. I think I've seen you here before. Why'd you quit? Huh? Oh, I was sick for a few days. Well? If you want to see Mr. Damatroff, he moved to that swanky apartment house on Jackson, across from the park. They call it the uh, uh, Shangri-La. He's throwing a big party out there tonight, kind of a housewarming, you know? And he's short on dames. He'd be glad to see you, I know.
damage on it. Second floor. Who wants champagne? Who wants French French? That's important. I'm not getting it. my three years in jail. Say you. Do you hear? Mr. Domitrov. Mr. Domitrov. Wake up. You've got to answer some questions. Wake up. You remember me? Remember the little fool that trusted you? who believed that you were an honest man. Don't sleep! Wake up! What did you do with my money? Give me back my money. What did you do with it? Oh, I can't breathe! I'm the dog!
You little darling. I knew you were after him, you brat. Want to get yourself a rich boyfriend, eh? Well, that's the best way when he's out and can't remember what he did. Wait! Look. I don't care. He had it coming to him. What are you talking about? What did he do to you? I sent him to the place where I had my money hidden. And he came back pretending that he didn't find it. And, and he had a great time, laughed and had fun with my money. You fool! That wasn't your dough. I know I was there when he got it. He was desperate, wanted to kill himself before going to jail. Then came a fur merchant. The very next morning, a Turk with a lot of moolah. Puffy took a long shot, started the game without a cent in his pocket. It was like a miracle. He took every hand. Took that Turk for 48 grand just like that. Now, that's the truth, you fool. So what are you talking about? I'd better call the police. Hey, wait! gardener say about the roots? When young trees are growing, their roots have such power, they, they push away every obstacle.
Yes, what is it, young lady? You the officer in charge? Well, what do you think I am, a bookie? I killed a man. Sit down, I'll be right with you. What? What did you say? I killed a man. How did you kill him? With an empty champagne bottle right here on the temple. Wait, let's get this straight. What's your name? Mary Adams. Occupation? Waitress. Now, who did you kill? My employer, Mr. Domitrov. I don't know his first name, but his girlfriend calls him Puffy. He has a little bar on Franklin Beach. Well, where does he live? He doesn't live. I told you I killed him. I mean, what's his address? The Shangri-La Hotel on Jackson Avenue, I think. That's where I killed him this morning between 4 and 5. Give me the Shangri-La on Jackson. Go ahead, sit down. Shangri-La, do you have a man named Damitrov living... I mean, registered at your place? Yeah. Well, can you give me his apartment? Hello? This is the police. Is this Mr. Damitrov's apartment? Is it true that he was murdered? Wait, I'll let you talk to the body. For you, the police. The police? Hello? Yes, that's me. Dragomir Dimitrov. What? Am I dead? I got your killer right here in front of me. Well, if you say so, then I've got to believe you. Sorry to have bothered you. Now, listen, you screwy little lady. Either you lay off that bad liquor or we'll put you in jail. You mean you really talked to him? He's alive? Now, you get out of here, but quick, before I change my mind. Tell me, what happened? I don't know. You must have turned in your sleep, and when you fell, you cut your face on an empty bottle. I was in the bathroom. When I came out there, you were on the floor. Hmm? You see? Empty bottles are very dangerous. From now on, no empty bottles in my house. So he's alive. And now your fool gave away the money. The money. My money. Smooch! Yes, what do you want? I asked you an hour ago for a drink. No drink. If you want a glass of fresh water, all right. Water. When I get up, remind me to kill you. Sure, I knew it was you. How are you, Mary? Hello, Mr. Domitrov. How do you feel? Fine. Just fine. You look wonderful. 
It's a nice dress. Seven fifty. Mm -hmm. And you, it looks like eight fifty. <laughs> Cut, huh? What is it? Oh, this here. I played with a kitten. Scratched me. <laughs> Little beast. Still angry with me? Why should I be angry? Well, I can understand it. I behaved badly. I lost my temper. But you were so right. Why should you trust me, a no-good guy, a gambler? What are you going to do now? I don't know. Well, if you want to work for me, anytime. I'm reopening next Saturday. The place will be newly decorated. Prices will go up, of course. Say, how about working for me as a hostess? That's an idea. That would be wonderful. Oh, you're so nice, Mr. Dalmatro. Mm. Someday, should you trust me more, then you can tell me the right place where the money is hidden and I get it for you. No reward, of course. I don't need it now. I'm afraid you'll laugh. I gave the money away. For charity. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I told you you would laugh. Mary! So happy to see you well again. Going out on a fishing trip. How about you coming with me? It'll do you good. Oh, come on, be a sport. I got fresh hamburgers, cold beer, a phonograph of beautiful records, and a shawl to put around your shoulders when the wind starts blowing. I love you. What do you think, Mr. Dalmatro? Should I go? Mary! Well, I'd like to say... Come on! What can you expect from him? I have my Cadillac waiting here. We can go somewhere, have a few drinks, go to the races. But I think you're a nice girl. You deserve something more solid, huh? I think you should go. Wait!